Hi everybody, we are expected to find the value of x given the 2 raised to the power of x positive 2 raised to the power of 3x is equal to 10. Now there are three ways I am going to show you how to exactly find the solution. Right. Now the first way is to rewrite 10 as a sum of quantities involving 2. So clearly I can write 10 as 2 raised to the power of 1 positive 2 raised to the power of 3. Now 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8 and 2 raised to the power of 1 is 2. Now, on the left side we got 2 raised to the power of x positive 2 raised to the power of 3x. Now clearly we can see that if I were to equate left versus right I can see that x is equal to 1 here and from here 3x is equal to 3 subsequently this would mean x is equal to 1 so clearly this would mean x is equal to 1 is the solution now there are people who will be asking how can you use the solution here meaning are you saying that x is equal to 1 is the only solution yes I am saying x is equal to 1 is the only real solution you follow me real solution so if they are asking us find x is e uh, find the value of x given that we are expecting only real solutions okay then x is equal to 1 is the only real solution now as i mentioned to you there are people who will be asking how how do you know that x is equal to 1 is the real solution simple now consider what is given 2 raised to the power of x positive 2 raised to the power of 3x is equal to 10 now this is a increasing function and this is a constant function now you are asking about an increasing function intersecting a constant and that is only possible at one particular point say for example let me give this illustration imagine a function is moving up like this this is an increasing function and you have a constant function this is the line that is moving up so the only possibility for the increasing function to intersect the constant is just at one point and that point is found to be as x is equal to 1 so this is method 2 method 2 is actually a justification mm -hmm. as to why x is equal to 1 is the only solution so I'm just using the concept of increasing function versus the constant function so that would be an ideal justification to say that x is equal to 1 is the solution now there is the third way by which we can do this question so I'm also showing you that third way and I'll try to make it faster in the interest of your time so we are given 2 raised to the power of x positive 2 raised to the power of 3x is equal to 10 so what I wish to do is uh, I would like to take say y to be equal to 2 raised to the power of x so if I were to do that if I were to take this as 1 therefore I can rewrite 1 to be s this is actually rewritten as 2 raised to the power of x positive 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 3 is equal to 10. So from here I can rewrite this as y positive 2 raised to the power of x y cubed is equal to right hand side is 10. So I have a cubic equation so let me write it like this y cubed positive y is equal to 10. Now what I wish to do is the only clue I have is I would like to have a factored component of 10 being present on the left hand side in other words I know that 10 can be factored by 5 so that is the only clue so I'm trying to add on the left hand side some y multiplied with 5 so that is important for me is to solve this so I'm going to rewrite this as y cubed positive say some 5y but I need to get a y here so I'm going to uh, subtract from 5y 4y so this is going to be equal to 10 so let me just move this 10 to the other side so this is y cubed I'm going to rewrite this as 5y negative 4y negative 10 is equal to 0 now I'm just going to do some manipulation so that is going to be y cubed negative 4y positive 5y negative 10 is equal to 0 so if I were to have that this is rewritten as y of y squared negative 4 positive I can take 5 is going to be y negative 2 is equal to 0 
So this can be rewritten as y negative 2, y positive 2 and 5 times the y negative 2 is equal to 0. So this can be y negative 2 can be taken out and that would give me y of y positive 2 and positive 5 is equal to 0. So y negative 2, this is y squared positive 2 times y positive 5 is equal to 0. This would be complex. So this would be y minus 2 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 2. If y is equal to 2, I have y to be as 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 2. So which means x is equal to 1. Have a nice day. Take care.